Hey there, YouTube fam! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm delving into the incredible and inspiring true story of Michael Ohr in the critically acclaimed film The Blind Side. But before I jump into this captivating tale, make sure to show some love by smashing that like button, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future movie discussions. Trust me, you don't want to miss out! All right, let's dive right into the heartwarming journey of courage, resilience, and the power of family in The Blind Side. The Blind Side is an amazing true story about a football player named Michael Ower. He played as an offensive left tackle for the Baltimore Ravens. Michael's life started in a tough neighborhood called Hurt Village in Memphis, Tennessee. He faced many challenges, including having a drug-addicted mother and an absent father, which left him homeless and vulnerable. Because of his difficult circumstances, Michael was taken into custody by family services and moved in and out of foster homes during his teenage years. But his life took a fortunate turn when a coach recognized his potential and enrolled him in a private Christian school that the Tuohe family's children attended. Michael is a kind-hearted person with a childlike personality. He tries to connect with kindergarten children, even though they often reject or ignore him. However, his life changes when he befriends S.J. Tuohe, the youngest member of the Tuohe family. This friendship becomes the starting point for an incredible journey. Struggling to find food, Michael survives by finding half-empty snack containers after school games. Mr. Tuohe notices his situation and buys him a meal ticket, making sure he doesn't go hungry. One icy winter night, Lee Ann Tuohe, along with her husband and children, comes across Michael on his way to the school gym where he sleeps. They show great compassion and invite him to spend the night at their home. The next day, Lee Ann insists that Michael stay for dinner, and the Toei children accept him as part of their family without hesitation. This act of kindness and acceptance transforms Michael's life in a profound way. As time goes on, Lee Ann continues to show her generosity by offering Michael a room and a bed in their home. She also takes the initiative to research his records, including his career aptitude test results. To her surprise, she discovers that Michael's only positive score was in protective instincts. With this newfound knowledge, Lee Ann takes it upon herself to teach Michael how to excel in football. Under Lee Ann's guidance, Michael starts to understand the game and becomes a valuable player on his team. His transformation is remarkable, and people around him start to take notice. During a Christmas card photo session, Lee Ann invites Michael to be a part of the Tuohe family picture. It's a heartwarming moment that shows his inclusion and acceptance as a family member. Even though Lee Ann faces criticism from her friends, she defends her actions confidently, making it clear that she won't tolerate disrespect. As Michael's football talent shines, he gets the opportunity to play at the university level. However, his grades need improvement. To help him achieve his dreams, the Tuohees hire a private tutor named Miss Sue. She is determined to see Michael succeed, just like Mrs. Tuohe. They both want him to play for Ole Miss. During their lessons, Miss Sue tells Michael a story about the University of Tennessee burying body parts under their football field. Michael believes the story without questioning it, strengthening his commitment to playing for Ole Miss. As Michael's journey continues, he faces a crucial decision about his football career. Despite considering the University of Tennessee, a particular event sways his choice, leading him to sign with Ole Miss. This moment shapes his path as he pursues his dreams on the football field. In another important development, Leanne, who deeply cares for Michael, wants to have a heartfelt conversation with his mother. She hopes to explore the possibility of adopting Michael as her own. Initially, Michael's mother seems unresponsive, but eventually she expresses her best wishes for her son's future. She reveals that social services had labeled Michael as a runner, suggesting that one day Lee Ann might discover that he has run away without notice. Lee Ann's determination and resilience extend beyond caring for Michael. She confronts tough individuals from the projects who had made hurtful comments about her. Fearlessly, she stands up to them, leaving them speechless and showing that she won't be intimidated. As Michael's talent gains recognition, several universities express interest in having him join their football teams. S.J., showing loyalty to his friend, takes on the responsibility of negotiating with coaches on behalf of both himself and Michael. They navigate through these discussions with determination and perseverance. The final decision rests with Michael, who works hard to improve his grades. When the time comes, he must weigh his options and make a choice that will shape his future. 
The pressure is on, but Michael's journey has equipped him with the strength and resilience needed for this important decision. In a significant turn of events, Michael makes a heartfelt decision to choose the university where Lee Ann's husband, Sean, had played football and where Lee Ann herself had been a cheerleader. This choice holds sentimental value for Sean and Lee Ann as it connects them to their alma mater and cherished memories. However, this decision doesn't go unnoticed. Investigator Granger takes a keen interest in the matter and begins investigating. She questions Michael as if conducting a formal interrogation at a police station. Investigator Granger suspects that the Tuohis, along with Miss Sue, are using Michael for the benefit of their beloved university, Ola Miss. Her probing raises doubts and concerns, casting suspicion on Michael's connection with the Tuohis and Miss Sue. Overwhelmed by the pressure and scrutiny, Michael reaches a breaking point during the interview. Unable to bear the weight of the situation, he runs away, seeking solace and answers from his birth mother. His search for belonging takes him back to Hurt Village, where he reunites with the leader of the tough guys. During this reunion, the leader offers Michael a beer, but makes hurtful insinuations, suggesting inappropriate relations with Lee Ann or her daughter. These cruel remarks further complicate Michael's journey, testing his resilience and challenging his perception of those who have shown him kindness and support. Michael's protective instincts kick in when the gang leader threatens Lee Ann and her daughter, Fueled by loyalty and love for his newfound family, Michael takes a stand. He courageously confronts the gang leader, forcefully shoving him into a wall and disarming him. This act of bravery shows Michael's unwavering commitment to protecting those he cares about. After this incident, Michael reflects and has meaningful conversations with Lee Ann. Through these discussions, he realizes that the Tuohis have become his family. Recognizing their profound impact on his life, Michael shares with Investigator Granger that his decision to choose Ole Miss is rooted in his deep connection to the Tuohy family. As the film concludes, a hopeful message is conveyed. It suggests that Michael's journey is far from over. With his determination and the support of his loved ones, he is destined for success and to fulfill his dreams of becoming a professional football player. S.J., the youngest Tuohy, is seen leading the players onto the field alongside Michael showcasing the strong bond they have developed and their shared passion for the sport. Thanks for watching this summary of The Blind Side. If you enjoyed this captivating movie breakdown, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more engaging content. Feel free to leave your suggestions and comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Stay tuned for our next video. See you there.